j'ai décidé qu'il fallait retrouver, à partir de vendredi, le confinement qui a stoppé le virus. Hi Elias. Hi Tobias, how are you? I'm very good, thank you. You know the lockdown, so I wanted to know if you have time to think about the situation in France and if you still wanted to come or if you changed your mind and if you wanted to, to postpone uh, your arrival to January. I've had time to think about the situation in France and I know that there's a, um, a lockdown coming soon. Um, but as you mentioned uh, as well, there's, there's still a possibility for me to be able to work here. Um, so I think that for now I'm, I'm still standing with the decision that I, I want to come to France. And I thank you for the offer of, of postponing the, the journey so I could uh, arrive in January. But I think that, that I would prefer it if I arrived on schedule right now. On a pu constater qu'il y avait beaucoup de difficultés au niveau de l'obtention des visas des volontaires. Donc on a dû euh, reporter, voire annuler certains projets. D'autres volontaires qui ont fait le choix, par exemple, de ne pas venir du fait du confinement en France ou de la crise sanitaire. Et on a au contraire des structures qui se lancent dans des nouveaux accueils alors qu'on est en plein confinement à l'heure actuelle. Et donc l'AMFR, par exemple, la Maison Familiale Rurale de Saint-Renan, qui a souhaité maintenir l'accueil de ce volontaire début novembre. Donc un volontaire, Tobias, qui est originaire de Copenhague. La, la mission de Tobias, euh, c'est de s'impliquer dans des projets. Alors le fil rouge, c'est la lecture. Le gros projet, c'est euh, réhabiliter euh, le CDI qui finalement a perdu un peu son âme de CDI euh, actif. En même temps, euh, il va réfléchir à la construction de cabanes à livres. Euh, il a aussi imaginé faire un temps, euh, un temps de lecture généralisé. Et il y a en plus de ça, forcément, euh, sa présence dans tous les cours euh, d'anglais. My mission in France is that I am working at the uh, MFA in Saint-Renan, where I am helping with the um, inclusion of, of English and helping the students um, improve their English language and doing some intercultural tutoring. The impact of, of COVID on my mission has not been very big because I work in a school and um, they have been open throughout the whole confinement. Of course, there's been some difficulties with working when there's a lockdown in the country, but it has not infected my mission in a, in a great way as it could have been. Um, so I'm very happy that I can continue working and um, doing what I'm supposed to do here um, and not just staying at home doing nothing. So uh, on the other hand, COVID has had a bigger impact on my social life here in France. Um, it's been a bit difficult to uh, to meet new people and to, uh, to to make friends down here when when all the bars and all the restaurants are closed, which is the places that you would normally meet new people. Um, so of course that's been difficult, but I still managed to to find some friends down here to to do stuff within the weekend and to ex to explore the city I live in and to explore the the beautiful country. And um, and in the weekend I've been very good to to being able to uh, explore more of the city and, and what's more around the city and also having time to go for a run with my friends or grab a drink in the weekend and, and still be social. Um, of course, the first lockdown and now the curfew has, has had some effect on to which degree we can still do this, but um, for sure it's been difficult, but, but still fun and a good experience. <laughs>